So we're basically saying goodbye to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the DLC of Modern Warfare 2. At least that's what a lot of people called it uh, when it released, right? We were expecting a big, big game with Makarov's return. We were expecting crazy setups in the missions. We were expecting maybe big fights. We were expecting this new take on Makarov and how ruthless he was going to be and maybe show him to a new generation of Call of Duty players and pay respects to the old generation of Call of Duty players. But none of that happened, right? Uh, when you're talking about the campaign for Modern Warfare, it's regarded as one of the worst, if not the worst campaign in all of Call of Duty, maybe even beating that of Vanguard. Now, for me, it's only saving grace is that we get to see more of the characters that I personally love. I personally like. I love Captain Price. Love Soap McTavish. Love Ghost. Love Gas. Love Graves. So seeing them again and them being part of the story was good. What was awful was the way they were executed. What was awful was the way that they were handled. What was awful was that sometimes Captain Price didn't feel like Captain Price. Sometimes Ghost didn't feel like Ghost. And that Graves felt cheap. And I don't want that. I want the badass Graves that we met in Modern Warfare 2. I don't want a cheap imitation. There were little moments of Graves being Graves, but it felt like they just brought him back because of fan demand and so the whole thing was atrocious but the point of today's video isn't necessarily talking about the campaign only and so what we're really trying to do here is just have a conversation about the complete full state of modern warfare and if it truly failed was it truly a flop was it just a game that was rushed and nobody liked is that really what it was well if we grab the campaign and we pick it up and we flick it to the side and we forget about it and we look at modern warfare 3 for what it was in terms of the campaign zombies and warzone you know it was pretty good and for a lot of people the multiplayer was one of the best multiplayers in years the movement the gun sounds the perks that you got you know modern warfare 3 is regarded as one of the best call of duties in terms of after launch support everything that it got the game really improved in those areas what it lacked in campaign it over delivered in multiplayer that's what a lot of people play call of duty for i would say that the majority of fans play the game for warzone multiplayer or even zombies they don't care so much about the campaign now don't get me wrong on a personal level i feel the campaign is the best part of the call of duty experience without the campaign i don't know that i want to buy a call of duty without the campaign i would not pay pay $69, $79 for a new game. I wouldn't because I love story games. So am I in the majority? No, I'm probably in the minority. So when you're seeing everything else, yeah, the game was quote unquote successful when it comes to that. A lot of us want to shit talk Modern Warfare for his campaign and we should shit talk Modern Warfare for his campaign because it was awful. It was atrocious. And I, on a personal level, love to love things like i want to like the campaign i want to pick and find things that i like and things that i thought were well and find maybe a little bit of diamond in the shit and to be quite honest i've done that a lot over this past year of modern warfare 3 i've tried to find things that i like as well as talk about things that i didn't like about it but Again, in general, the multiplayer was awesome and a lot of fans just loved it. And so I played a little bit of multiplayer this year just to level up some things, just to, you know, give it a shot sometimes. Because I, I didn't play so much for Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 2019. I kind of stepped away from the scene of multiplayer. The only thing that I really hopped into was Warzone. But in me playing multiplayer by myself, to be quite honest, I had a lot of fun. And this year in particular, I started picking up on what a lot of the young, young bucks called the meta of Call of Duty. I didn't know what the word meta meant. I still don't actually. I just know that it's a term. But apparently, you have a gun and that's the new meta. So you edit it a certain way and you fix your ADS and all that shit, right? You fix all that and then you're actually able to compete a little bit better with those young bucks, young, young bucks, those teens that are like coming straight home from school and they're just grinding on COD. And so I fixed all that because at some point during the year, a few months back, I realized that I was terrible in Warzone. I realized that I cannot keep up anymore. I don't know what's going on. I had my sensitivity at like 12 and I was just missing all my shots. And I realized the meta fixing that. And so when I fixed that, I enjoyed multiplayer like I did when I was a kid again, when I was young, when I was, when I was one of the young, young bucks, you know, when I was in high school, um, it changed. I, I completely could take control of the game and really enjoy it. And so I jumped into multiplayer a lot to test out these guns, to test out this quote unquote meta. And I was getting kills, man. I was getting 30, 40 kills and I was having fun. That's the main thing, having fun. And so multiplayer for Modern Warfare 3 is the most fun that I've had in a multiplayer in years, bar none. 
bar none. I, I enjoyed Cold War quite a bit, but I didn't have in as much fun as I did with Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. Now, I'm talking about like team deathmatch domination and that type of stuff. And so a lot, I think a lot of fans, and, and you included, might have enjoyed that aspect of the game. I cannot, and I wish that I could, but I cannot comment on zombies. I, I, I never played zombies this year. And to be quite honest, I never got the urge to want to play. It looked confusing. It looked dumb. <laughs> it looked a bit boring. And it just wasn't my cup of tea. When I was very young, I used to love playing Kino Der Toten in black ops one the original that is my favorite call of duty zombies map that is the one that scared the shit out of me and that's the one that i want to play that was it I, i've never been a humongous fan of zombies after that and so for modern warfare 3 i'm sorry i wish i could comment but i didn't get into the zombies much i know that a lot of fans enjoyed the zombie content enjoyed the zombie play but they didn't really like so much where the story was going because if i'm remembering correctly i'm pretty sure that a news article came out not that long ago stating that the zombies was actually unfinished in terms of its story but you had a bad campaign you had a wonderful fantastic multiplayer and you had a pretty good cod zombies mode right so you have three things two of those are working in favor of modern warfare one is not and then if you think of warzone now this can or cannot be associated with modern warfare 3 but i think it should be because warzone really becomes what the call of duty of that year is so now right now warzone is modern warfare 3 but when black ops 6 releases warzone is going to be black ops 6 and so warzone is the one that i can comment on the most most. I think that Warzone was and is like one of the main modes that I play like almost on a daily basis um, because I play with my uncle all the time and we're always grinding and having fun. We talk shit. We play, you know, it's, it's chill. But as much as I've enjoyed Warzone over the past year, it's given me so many headaches. Um, just some, in some of the ways that the people play the game now. So fast paced, you shoot at somebody and they just full on sprint, jump through windows, turn around and they get you. So it can be very hectic to play Warzone at times. What I really disliked about what Call of Duty specifically did to Warzone this year was the constant change of the modes. One day we get in and we have Warzone solos, Warzone duos, Warzone trios, and Warzone quads and we're playing and everything's fine and then the next day warzone duos and warzone trios is gone they're always removing modes and it, and it pisses me off because the only thing that i play like 99 percent of the time is duos and that is it warzone duos warzone duos i don't even like resurgence i only want to do warzone duos just keep that damn game mode there and don't move it that was one of the things that i disliked heavily about this year in warzone and in modern warfare 3 i just couldn't understand why they continuously did that and although i had a lot of fun with call of duty warzone it wasn't until the last few months that i really got to get better at it when i did those things i started enjoying it again because i was reaching the point where i didn't even want to play I was just like, you know what, this shit's ass, I'm ass, <laughs> let's just wrap it up. But after changing some settings, I was really getting into it. We were playing, me and my uncle were playing every night, the duos, and then Call of Duty goes and they change it. And that was just a big thing, right? In terms of what they delivered for Warzone though, not like, not my personal issues with it, in terms of what they did with it, it was very successful as well. People liked it, people enjoyed it, people were coming back to play it. Of course, you have your issues with some hackers, you have your issues with some stuff that people didn't like, but in terms of what they were delivering, once again, that after launch content, all the maps, all the skins, all the weapon customizations, all the bundles that they were releasing. Yes, yeah, some of them were ridiculously expensive. Some of them were a bit too much in my opinion, but overall, they continuously delivered random crap all the time for people that like horror, for people that like cartoons, for people that like military, for people that like all these things. They continuously delivered on all these collabs. Now, some people are fully against the collabs. Some people like some of them, and some people just want military sim outfits to be quite honest with you i'm in the branch that only wants military sim i i don't like seeing Nicki minaj running around i don't like seeing the terrifier running around i don't like seeing you know a big bird running around in call of duty it just it seems wrong it doesn't seem right it seems weird but that's where we're at so you 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 see that stuff and then you're like well did it open the door for more of that when we go into black ops 6 are we going to continue to see that trend are we going to see i don't know uh diddy running around <laughs> the fucking game or are we gonna see like uh, another wwe wrestler i just i don't i don't know i don't know and that's where we're at with the state of the game so modern warfare 3 did some things right but modern warfare 3 did some things absolutely terribly wrong 
so where do you lie? It depends what you like to play. Because if you only play multiplayer, then you had a fucking blast this year. If you only play zombies, then you had a pretty good time. If you only played campaign story mode, which a lot of my subscribers do, then you had an awful time. Worst Call of Duty ever. If you only play Warzone, then you had a pretty good time and you were pissed off at times. So you see how there's so many different avenues to what you would like to see in Modern Warfare, what you would like to play. And because there's so many different avenues, there's so many different opinions on it. But if you package it all together, you get a shit story, a great multiplayer, a good zombies, and an okay war zone. That to me sounds like a 5 out of 10. <laughs> if I'm being fully honest with you, that to me sounds like a 5 out of 10. So if we look at the entirety of Modern Warfare 3 and we rate it on what happened this year, what we enjoyed, what we didn't, the overall package, I think the game gets a 5 out of 10. And if we're being generous, maybe a 5.5 out of 10. I wish that I could get over what happened in the campaign. I really, really do. But I love those characters too much. I respect the story that began with Modern Warfare 19. I enjoyed Modern Warfare 2 as a Mexican-American. It was awesome. But then we get into 3. The expectations that I had for the Modern Warfare campaign in the third game were sky high. What I got was sky ass. It was shit and I hated it. And I can't get over it. That was my year in review for Modern Warfare 3. Now let's see what Black Ops 6 does and what it can deliver. Will it be an overall better game than MW3? More than likely so, yes.